Former Fresno State basketball star Chris Heron was back in the Valley today. The recovering addict spoke to high school kids this afternoon, then to a sold out crowd of 2,500 this evening. KMPH Fox 26 sports reporter Nick King explains why Heron called this trip a great homecoming. Chris Heron was last in Fresno three years ago when he was recording parts of his ESPN documentary. And if you saw that documentary, you have an idea of how powerful it is when he's sharing his story. Tonight at Buchanan High School, he elicited a truly emotional response, much like he would 16, 17, 18 years ago at Selton Arena. I wish I gave more. I gave all I could. I wish it was more. Um, but I gave him all I had when I had it. Off the turnover, it's Heron with the gun. Despite his eye-popping statistics in the late 90s, Heron called Monday an amends, an apology to this community for not being able to give more when he played for Jerry Tarkany. He gave me a second chance. He introduced me to a community um, that embraced me like no other college kid has been embraced. And, and I'm forever grateful for that. 27 years old, I think I'm going to go homeless. Now it's the former professional athlete's turn to embrace. 250 times a year, he speaks to high schools and college football teams and NBA rookies. Rock bottom's overrated. You know, I'm tired of that word. You know, people wait till it's too late. Any day I woke up and I needed a substance in my body to get through the day it was a pretty bad day. Heron says he does this for the girl who cuts herself, the boy who wants his dad back and he believes there needs to be a change in the way kids are educated about drugs and alcohol. Why do you have to change yourself? You know, why can't you go out on Fridays and Saturday nights and just be yourself? I know I couldn't. The reality to this talk is some can, some can't. Some will never be affected and some will be. It's just if you're the one that's affected, there's a heavy price to pay. So why do we allow it in these young years? Why do we sit back and accept it? And then when it, the fallout comes, it's like, how'd this happen? Well, we turned away for so long. Heron's been sober since August 1st, 2008, almost six and a half years now. And he told the PAC gymnasium that Fresno makes him think more of recovery than it does addiction. He also told them, without many of you here, I don't believe I would be sober today. In Clovis, Nick King, KMPH Fox 26 Sports.